Our first presenter is Tom Ma, and Tom is a FIBA Hall of Fame uh, coach. He's a Basketball Australia Hall of Fame coach, WNBL championship coach, coached at many Olympic ca uh, games for, for many countries, and uh, was one of the historic coaches of our Opals team in, uh, in them winning their first medal in, uh, in Olympic games. A wonderful contributor to Australian basketball over many years. Would you please welcome Tom, who's going to talk about passing, catching, and decision making. Tom Ma. Thank you. Um, is the sound okay? Good. Um, I, I do, I'm 70, but I, I still do a little bit of work. I, I work with Michelle Tim's Academy from four to six, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And we work from under 12s to under 14. So eight and nine year olds to 13 year olds and uh, boys and girls and you know naturally and she she picks me up twice so we talk about basketball and what's you know she's she's keen to do the best possible job um, for her kids and we got on to passing about 12 months ago and but that's every coach complains about passing everywhere any country they all complain about passing so what's new well I think I started to think about it and I thought you know when you see a lot of passing drills, it's all about the noun. Like this is a chess pass, this is a bounce pass, right? Um, this is a cool pass. It's about the noun, and it's not, it's that's okay. There's, there's trial and error learning, but it, but it doesn't paint the, the the total picture. And so I sort of started to have a bit of bit of a think on on uh, what we can do about it. Um, I'll just quickly identify, uh, and whilst we work with nine to um, thirteen year olds or eight year olds even sometimes. I would definitely do this stuff with, with senior players. Um, and the odd, the odd individual I do with some senior players, I, uh, I help along with this stuff. Now, here's some big things. Now, Caitlin, you're the fastest, right? Come out here, you said you were. Get a basketball, quick. Okay, now, let's say you're on this wing here. Now, can we have a pass, a pass to the ball, please? In a heartbeat. All right. Now, you, now make the pass, and then she takes the ball above her head and looks. Now, to me, she doesn't know the offense. Okay. If you if you've got to take the ball above your head to look, and you you, you don't know the offense, even if you can draw the offense on a piece of paper, you don't know it if you've got to take the ball above your head. That is a mistake. Any good defender is going to take that away. All right. My wife was would kill you if you took the ball above your head. Okay, um, not playing the basket. So, you know, especially with little kids, playing like this, looking to pass, not playing the basket. Okay, um, time out driving. So much east west dribble is just, I don't know what to do. Okay, I, I, I don't know what to do, so I'll just drive across here, you know, and we'll, another, another boring handoff or something. Okay. Um, Passing to a contest, the pass has got to have discipline. If it's a contest, you're not allowed to pass it, okay? And then the cutter has to have discipline. If, if it's contested, you must back cut, all right? Now, um, I'll get onto that in a bit. Um, passing directly to the catcher, okay, to the cutting catcher. So now here's where we're going to have our race. Caitlin said she's the fastest player here, so I'm going to have a race with her. I'm going to thrash her. So come, come down here, Caitlin. Now, I'm going, to, I'm going to beat her. Throw the ball to you, mate. So we're going to have a race, okay? But the race is going to be... Now, I'm thinking if you think it's just the half-court line, you're going to beat me, maybe. But it's not the half-court line. It's one step, okay? And the, the rule is that you can't go until I go, okay? So I'll, I'll beat you, all right? I, I, can, I can beat you again. I can beat you again. That's when separation occurs, right? Now, if we get out, what's your name, sorry? Erica. Erica, can you be like in the, in the scene maybe, in the scene just there? And uh, with teaching kids, I usually have a two guard front so that I can play four out, have left reliance on, you know, uh, post players. So now, um, Caitlin, you guard me, make a triangle. So she, she chooses that distance, right? Okay. 
And now separation occurs when I go from zero to 100. That's when separation occurs. Um, when you throw it to an old person, you bounce past it, okay? Right? Okay, now, so that's when separation occurs. That's when you throw the ball, and you throw the ball to where I'm going. So we arrive, the ball and, my, and the cutter arrive at the same time, all right? You don't throw it directly to me, okay? You throw it to where I'm going, and you throw it on separation, okay? All right. Um, now, uh, I just, I've got, I probably could go without this, but I'm, I don't want to miss anything. Um, that's, that's an issue, not passing on separation, waiting. And you see some terrible passes because this cutter, this cutter now, that's the spot that they're going to. Well, now they've got to slow down. And whilst I got separation here, especially if they're quicker than me, she's got speed up, so she's got momentum up now. And as I slow down, she's going flat out. Right? And that's an uncontested layup if she gets that. So you need to pass on separation, okay? Um, and you don't pass to me. You pass to where I'm going. Uh, not passing away from the hands. Okay, that's a fairly obvious one. Um, jump in the air to pass at a contested. Now, okay, I know I watch some NBA too in, the, in WNBA, and they've got athletes, okay? And they can jump, they're six foot 100, and they can jump up in the air. But in general terms, when you penetrate, and this is why people get a bit frightened about penetration, because sometimes Jenny Cheeseman once told me that when you get in the key, you're in a forest, and it can be a bit scary sometimes. So I thought that was a good point. But when you penetrate in here, you do not jump in the air to pass the ball unless it's an uncontested catch and an uncontested pass. All right? You don't, you don't if it's contested, you, either one, you have to plant your feet. So you plant your feet, and then look around, okay? And the catchers have to make the passing lane, right? The, you know what three line is? They're not to get, Erica, you, you guard me, please. So now we're three in a line, right? So if I've, if I've got the ball, can you bounce past it down there? If I've got the ball here, stand three in a line. This is your problem. Get out from three in a line, move. Now I can make the pass, okay? Um, and I think a huge thing that I'm just starting at seven to realise, can you hold that for me, is that I think we do a terrible job of coaching kids to pass with both hands. It, and you just got to look at, at, at kids passing, even in drills, they're overwhelmingly one-handed passes, either right or left. Now, of course, passing the, to the post, right, that's... Um, yeah, you can only play on one side of the court, all right? Um, you know, passing to the beggar, too. Eric has got the ball. D's going to guard me. Now, this is contested, and I keep begging for the ball here, 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 okay? Well, obviously, I should spin, but this is people do what's lazy, what's easy. So, so I keep doing this instead of doing the hard work and spinning. So... You don't throw the ball to the beggar, all right? Okay? Um, so there's some common things. And can I have a look at that again? Thanks. Yeah. Also, when you do penetrate into the key and you plant your feet, people aren't going to play you like this. They're going to play you up like this. So the bounce pass is your friend, okay? Now, there's alternatives to planting your feet. You can, well, you can shoot it. But if you, if you don't plant your feet, then just continue through. Just dribble all the way through. Okay, and then turn around and start again. Which brings me to broken play. Okay. It used to be called passing game. Then it became motion because that was more scientific. And then it became, now it's, most people say broken play around where I live anyway. So, look, I, I, I'm a big believer that you can't, run motion for the whole shot clock because it needs too much movement and people get lazy and, you know, they'd rather run a hand off than back cut, okay? So um, what I think of it, it's like this. You, it, you might have a fast break, right? But if you don't have a fast break and you advance the ball up the floor, it, it's around about six seconds. 
And then you change sides from one side to the other, which is a play. You run a play, you change sides. And that's another eight seconds. That's 14 seconds off the clock. Now, it's 10 seconds left. You don't want to shoot it in the last second, do you? So really, broken play is for about eight seconds. Okay? And so what we do is that we teach, and we don't, um, if we get a post player, a legitimate post player, we get them to come early to practice and we give them a bit of a freebie, but we've only got one of them. So all the other kids, uh, we treat them as perimeter players and we play four out so that they can learn the game that way. All right? Now, um, so you, you need to be dynamic in once you get to broken play for about eight seconds, okay? This is a, a formula to help decision making. Are there other things? Yes, there are. But this is just one tool, if you like, to help your decision making. On this catch, right, your first thought, your first thought is, can we score? Okay? Now, that takes a couple of seconds to say, but it takes a hundredth of a second to think. Right? So, I'm over helping, you make the pass, and you can pull, pull through. Right? Okay, it's pull through. Can we score? Yes. Okay? Um, uh, I've got to rotate. You're wide open. I rotate. You kick it ahead for the extra pass. Now we can score that way. Okay? Uh, or you're wide open. Nobody's on you. You're just going to catch and shoot it. So on my first thought, it's can I score? My second thought, once you make the catch, the, the pass predicates mostly a cut or a screen away, some movement. So your second thought is, can I hit the cutter? All right? Can I hit the cutter? And then your third thought is, can I play one-on-one? -on -one? So it takes you about a second for the first two thoughts, and then you've got, say, two seconds one-on-one. -on -one. Now you've had the ball for a three count. You don't want to have it for a four or five count. That's just sticking the ball. Okay? It's, it's, uh, it's like that, you know, one-on-five that some players play in the NBA. So you want to get the ball moving. Okay? So what's your first thought? Big voice, please. Can I score? Correct. What's your second thought? Big voice, please. Can someone else score? No. Who can help her out? Who can help her out? Have a guess. You can only make a fool of yourself. Sorry? Yeah. Can, no, can I hit the cutter? Yeah. What's your third thought? Can I play one-on-one? -on -one? Okay. So it's can we score? Can I hit the cutter? Can we play one-on-one, -on -one? all right? Now, here's some solutions. When you catch the ball, you, uh, uh, there are other things. These are the ones I focus on. You should threaten the drive, okay? So if I, if I believe you're going to drive, I'm going to lower my center of gravity, okay? It's just, it's just natural, okay? And trial and error tells us that I'm a much quicker athlete uh, with my hands down and up because that lowers my centre of gravity. So people learn that when they've been taught it. So if I, you threaten to drive, I, I almost, like, there's great players that don't, but 90% of players just drop their weight and drop their hands. This gives the halo, okay? All right? So threaten the drive as a solution. Shift the defender's hands, okay? Um, oh, here's a biggie. You, you, you've got to use your peripheral vision. Now, can I have, do you have that? Now, if the offence is this, which we'll play with a bit. If the offence is for me, when you catch it, to lead to the wing. All right? Don't look at me. You know the offence. So you catch it and, and, and by, um, by shaping to drive here, you'll, you use your peripheral vision to see that. You've dropped their hands and you throw the ball in the halo if that's the pass you choose, okay? So don't, don't be looking at people. Just try to, and what, what we do, even if we do a little defensive shift drill, like, you know, Timsey warns them up with this. We, we practice seeing the cone and seeing the line, you know? Just, just ways to, and, and up at peripheral vision up and down. So, um, so that's a big thing to practice. You, you don't want to be looking at this person, looking at, just see the court. If you know the offense, you know what's going on. Okay? Um, 
Yeah, be disciplined regarding contested passes. Don't throw it to a contest. They have to back cut. I think universally, well, it used to be, universally, if I want Erica to back cut, I go fake. All right? I don't know if you do that, but that was one way people used to do it. Okay? But she should have the discipline to back cut, especially in broken play. Okay? Um, back cut rather than handoff. Handoffs are supposed to be a screen anyway, which they're not. You don't see it. And it's just, it's just a, a time killer. There's three defenders doing nothing. Um, and uh, the person that takes the handoff now has got, got to do something. Our handoffs, no, they're not wrong. You can use handoffs, but there's a ridiculous amount of them at the moment. It's, dry, it's boring. It's boring. Okay. Now, um, I mentioned... Uh, penetration and plant feet will continue to dribble out. Play with a three count. Now use angle penetration. Okay, so now, um, see D, D's here like this. Could you hold that please, Eric? Sorry. So you, um, you guard me. So th this is the most underused thing in passing. Angle penetration. It's just a dribble to the side and going close. I'm just going to go fake, drive, pass. Well, and especially with little kids, they'll try and lob the ball over two, hand, two, two extended hands. So it's totally contested. Okay? The one time you can lob the ball, I think, is, is uh, when you throw it to a back cutter. And, and I'll get on to that. Um, all right. Uh, so um, angle penetration. Now, um, Robin was... Can you post up, please? Just put it down. Can you, can you defend? Yep. Now... This is what Robin used to do. Get on the block. If she wanted to pass to Jackson or somebody here. Now, here's a defender here, and there's a defender, you know, half fronting vigorously, all right? There's not a lot of space, and you're way too low. You should be on the, above the block. Stop there. Good. Now, so this, this here, that's contested. Retreat dribble. Once you retreat dribble, their hands go down, okay? And that, that they're, 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 they're more likely to come out of the stance, okay? Or, you know, so you just, um, I say, if you can pass it off one hand, I'm getting a bit old, but as you retreat dribble, you can, oops, you can pass it off one hand. Oh, I'm not so skillful. Uh, but um, you can do that. At, that retreat dribble gets the defenders, and she stands up. You pull the ball back, and they, they stand up. That's a great thing to do, okay? So there's some solutions. Now, let's play four on four. I want... Uh, a person in the seam here, a person in the corner, a person in the corner, and a person on the wing. Four on four. Now, you other guys make subs continuously. Okay? Uh, let's have the ball in the seam. So, this is how... Uh, um, let's have a coach, please. Quick, give the ball. All right, now, everybody make triangles. So where's your triangle? Where's yours? Good. Now, the coach is going to make this pass, and you're going to adjust to your triangles, okay? But you know the, the offense. The offense is that when she, when she sees you catch it, she's going to lead, all right? And you're going to, you're going to part. You're going, this is part of the offense, so you're looking to make that pass, all right? That's the end of the offense, just that one lead. And then we go to our broken play or motion thinking, uh, can we score? Can I hit the cutter? Okay. And um, can I play one-on-one? -on -one? So now, on this pass, go. Pass it. Now, this pass is... Oh, that's okay. Now, this pass here, a great way is to shake. Look at her here and pass on separation. So go back here. Now, you go slow to make your opponent go slow. You stop to make your opponent stop. Okay? Yeah. So, um, this has to be a blast cut. So, she chooses this space in here. So, I get, I get a bigger space on my first step. That's when you pass it. All right? And she catches it. Now, you're thinking, she got to play the basket. Right? And I'm getting her hands out of the way by doing this. Or I might do this to get her hands up. Okay? All right? And uh, so... 
So your pass is like this. You, you, you catch it. You know the offence, right? So you're looking for the, the cutter. So you're going like this here, and then you make the pass. If you're good, you can pass it left-handed. All right? Now, so now come and catch it. So it's broken play now. You've got to jump to the ball. Now, if she doesn't jump to the ball, well, you're going to win anyway. doesn't matter what you do, okay? So let's assume she's a decent enough player and she jumps to the ball. Now, you're, you've said, can I score? Well, can you score? No. There's no obvious shot here, right? So no pull through, no wide open shot, no kick ahead pass, okay? So now you're going to cut to the basket, to, directly to the X spot. No banana cuts. Now, if, if you make a, just make a banana cut. Yeah, like that. Now see what, stop. See, you've put you and her in her driving lane. Okay, so come back here. So what you've got to do, you only cut across the face if she's a bad defender, okay? And she doesn't jump to the ball. Otherwise, back cut. No curly banana cuts, all right? Sometimes you can get across their face for sure, but it does what, that's what happens. It's, she's got no space, it's traffic. So you cut behind her head, okay? So you cut behind her head. Now stop. Now that's what happens, all right? 80% I don't know. But defenders, I mean, the way to defend that cut is you, is, you, is you go nose and chest, jump to the ball. Oh, she's cutting. Oh, I must be in a close stance. And you just move back here to this. She goes away and you open up again. That's the way you defend it. But this is what happens. Because people always, look, if you tell somebody to go and do four hours of homework or you can go and watch four hours of TV, what are they going to do? All right? They're going to watch TV. So you, you're playing for the head turner. So I'll, I'll just, uh, I'm not, um, so I jump to the ball, she cuts, now I do that. Now that's when you pass it. You have to look here too, but that's when you pass it. Okay, now, if you don't pass it then, then I turn in, now I'm running forward. I've got an advantage. Doing this is slow and hard work. Running forward is, is much easier for me and much faster. All right, but I lose vision on the ball. So, so you, you're going to cut here. Now, your second thought is, can I hit it? Now, cut to the X, all the way to the X hard, right, and go out. Now, what's her third thought? Big voice. Um, go get the ball. No, what's her third thought? Can I play one-on-one? -on -one? -on -one? Now, she's asking herself, can she play one-on-one? -on -one? But you start walking across too early, and you take your man there. See, when I cut, when I cut, I take this defender here out of, out of the way. I take this defender here like this. My defend now she's got to drive. There's a vacuum. She can drive into that. You drive the way the cutter um, cuts. So now if I don't make that cut, then I, I go to the corner. And this defender now is going to be on the split line, okay? Which means if she plays one-on-one -on -one and she can get to the hole and I help, that cutter's now the shooter, right? So for that to work, you have to wait a two count. Who's the offensive player? You are, you're on the wing? Okay, you've got to wait a two count so that she can think, uh, can we score? Can I hit the cutter? Now let her play one-on-one. -on -one. So it's and one and two, and then it's a blast. Now, because it's a blast cut and you've waited two, she's ready to pass it, right? She's, she's done all this, she's ready to pass it. So now you can meet at the station, right? So you're not coming across to here, and she's holding the ball, and then you're standing still, okay? It's a lead. I like leads. I don't like stands, okay? Now, um, I said you girls to make subs. <laughs> hey, quick, hurry up. Subs, just tell anyone. Okay. So let's look at that again. Coach has got the ball. Two, two are here. Okay, on the pass, we're going to do that at speed. Okay, you ready? All right, play. Stop. That's not a blast cut. Come back and do it again. You've got to sprint. You've got to put, there's got to be, you know, pressure on these cutters, on these defenders. Now, when you shape, you, you, you don't pass like that. You, you, you play the basket, and then you, I see her right there, okay? She's still there. I'm going to turn and pass at the same time, okay? 
right? Don't, don't play her, play the basket, okay? And then you do the same shape, make the pass on separation, cut hard to the X. We're gonna start again. All right, ball's up here. Okay, cut, good. That's the lead, good, stop. Could you not play one-on-one -on -one then? Hey, didn't you think you had one-on-one? -on -one? Big voice, you're somebody. Yeah, you did have one-on-one. -on -one. Get to the hole, okay? If they stop you, plant your feet. All right, let me see the other team do that. So, we've run our play. That was the last cut of the play. And we've got eight seconds or 10 seconds to play. Broken play, okay? Shape up, play the basket. Cut, sprint. Good, stop, okay. Now I'll give you, what's your name, sorry? Azalea, I've got a big hint for you. If you're taking two baseline dribbles and you're not in the key, you've made a bad decision, all right? Any, if you're driving baseline, you get to the rack with one dribble or maybe two, okay? Especially if you go reverse. But if you're taking two dribbles into Death Valley here, that's just a bad play, okay? Don't do it. All right, um, so let me see now what, what, what we have. Let's say, and you guys have got a sprint. Pass, lead, pass. Cut, weight of two count, lead, good. Now, when you're in the corner, you can replace yourself or cut through. But if you do cut through, so cut through, now she's thinking, can we score? She might have a pull through. Can I hit the cutter, right? But look what she's done. Because of her cut, sacrificial cut, she didn't get the ball, she's taken this defender out of this driving lane. Now you can get deep, right, okay? So um, that's a good thing. So say, say, uh, say you did cut all the way through, all right, and you made this pass to the seam. Well, you just cut to the X, cut to the X. No, in a straight line, mate, straight line. Cut to the X. Good, well, yeah, okay. And then you now have a driving lane here. So if she helps, which she should be the helper, but if she helps, that's an easy shot. And she helps, you might have something, okay? That should be the helper in this situation here, okay? Um, see if I can, yep. The the, oh, okay, good question. Now, and you know what? Only people that ask questions, even if it's stupid, get ahead. The X is aligned directly from the front of the rim to the floor. There's, that's X marks the spot. So when you cut, you cut directly to the X, okay? At speed. All right. If you jog cuts, you, you can't run offense. Jog cuts kill everything because you, you're just putting the defender in the key in prime rebounding and prime helping situation. So th there's no trauma, there's no stress on me. What's going to happen here? I'm just playing everything. Okay. All right. Um, let's have the let's play. Who, who, who was the coach? Could you be the coach again? Yep. Balance back. You're on the wing. Okay. You're gonna make a pass here and then play. Cut, cut, sprint, stop. That's not one-on-one. -on -one. That's one-on-one, -on -one, mate. Well, yeah, well, you want to, don't you? Yeah. The, the help's all busy over there. You've just gotta get your feet in the key. If you can't get a shot, just kick it out. All right, try it again. Lead. Cut. Good. To the rack. Hard, hard. Strong. Get it up. Shot. Stop. You reset the defense. Okay? She's just matched up and you reset them all. You're better off attacking. But you have to shoot that. And you don't take three dribbles to get to here. That's one or two. That's a shot for you, mate. You got, look how deep you got. All right? That's a good play. Okay? Let me see the other team have it. Lead, cut, good, strong, strong, good girl, stop, you guys can't stand three in a line, you've got to move so that she has a pass, okay, all right, but that was strong, a strong drive, okay, I, I would suggest just looking at you guys, you're all good, but 
I would suggest that you go with a bit more speed and you limit your dribbles, okay? All right, look, because I've got 10 minutes, is it? Eight minutes left. I'm going to move ahead and show you a couple of drills, okay? So let's go, um, I, I, I want you to have groups of three and I want one ball in each group and I want a player on the sideline, a defender next to them and a catcher in here, go. This is just a little game. We do this a lot of different ways. But right now, this person here is the coach, all right? And they're just going to be a coach for us. And we're going to make three passes, OK? So you're going to pass it, pass it, pass it. And then you'll swap around, all right? Now, the first pass we're going to get is this. So you're just going to put your hands so we can practice it, all right? Now, the first pass I'm going to make, I'm going to... Uh, Get our hands up like this, good acting. Get our hands up, be expressive, like look, like look, right? And then when our hands are up, I'm gonna very quickly make a curl. Could be with an onside or crossover step, and it could be left or right, but you gotta preach this. But it's gotta be quick hands. So the curl is like um, a bowling uh, in cricket or a swim stroke, okay? But just to the side. Some people spit it, I don't think you have to do that, okay? So a curl, imagine this is an athletic, young man, but it's like this here, and it should go from below your knee to below her knee, all right? Because otherwise the defendant can get it. Now just, just let me sheath through them. You'll close out, and we'll do it again. Ready, go. Hands up, good. Quick hands, stop, swap over. All right, everybody's gonna do it, ready? Hands up, go. Three passes and swap over. Good. All right, stop. Now, we try to encourage use of the voice too, so we would call, the, the, the coach in this situation would call ball on those closeouts just to practice our uh, language. Now, the next pass, we're going to shape the drive and get our hands down, right? So I catch the ball. Bounce pass, please. Thanks. I'm going to get our hands down here and throw the ball into the halo. Now, most kids know what that means, but if they don't, it's like you know, the, the, the religious paintings. A saint has got a halo, you know? So you just pass the ball in the halo. So, so uh, and this, again, is when you watch this drill, you, you'll see how many kids are one-handed. So I, I come in close. I make a play here like this. And now the ball's at my knee. I'm looking out, up here. The ball's at my knee. I'm going to throw the ball from my knee, right? through here. Now, I can either shape to drive or I can, what's called, look the bounce pass. So if I go, if I go like this, like that, she'll put her hand down and I throw it straight, straight from there and there. Okay? Have a, have a practice. Ready? Go. Hands are down. Go. Close out. Three passes. Go, guys. Off you go. Get the hands down. Get the hands down. Stop, stop. You've got to get her hands down. Now, and you're going to help her out by doing that, all right? Because you're a coach, not a player here. So you've just got to have better acting. Just look the bounce pass or shape as if you're going to dribble and throw it from your knee. Go. Yeah. Okay, stop. Okay, and the third one that we practice like this, could you close that again, please? And can you make the pass there, Erica? Okay, I want to... Ink I want to get their hands up because I want to dribble the ball. And if I get their hands up, they've got a higher centre of gravity and they're not as quick. So I have good acting and I be really expressive and I look like I'm passing it. They'll put their hands up. That raises the centre of gravity, they're not as quick. So as they do that, I take a very quick angle penetration and make the pass, either off two hands or one hand. Let's have a look. Put your, make your hands up. Good. And, and right, you've sort of got to get... Yeah, it's got to be quick, of course. Okay, off you go. Have a practice. All right, stop. Now, the angle is not to the side. You, you move both ways. You move as if you're going to... You move forward and to the side. Okay? So, that... that um, we move on from that drill where they act as coaches, and then we have uh, this person play defence. So... You defend this, defend this, you make any pass, good, now you close out, when she gets there, you can pass it, go, good, you close out, 
Six passes like that. Go. Good dribble. Good curl. Uh, stop. All right, that's for everybody. Swap over. Swap around. All right, all right, just stop. Okay, last thing I'll show you is, um, I mean, I've been doing this for, I don't know, a long time. Let's have a line here with a player and a line here with a player. Two lines and we've got a safety. One person, you guys come in. Right, further back, we want to build up. We go further back because we want to build up speed. Now, if you're going at both ends, it's not so easy. Safety doesn't play up there, mate. What's the safety's job? Stop the layup, okay? Everything else is minor. All right, at the hole, get to the hole. Ready, you first two, two on one, go. Speed. Stop, she didn't get a shot, okay? Look, if you, if, when you're fast breaking, you've got to go at fast break speed, not just for your motor skills, but you, you don't develop your, uh, your decision making. If you're taking three seconds to make a decision, when you, in a reality you're going to have one second, you're not practicing what you need. So look, here's the game anyway as we finish off. We've got 40 seconds. This is the driving lane. Come, you two come out. This is the driving lane there. That's your driving lane. And this is your passing lane. Now at speed, put the ball in the driving lane. And if she doesn't commit to you, you lay it up. Go. Now stop. Now as she comes to you, you put the ball in the passing lane Opposite our hands. Now, most safeties play like a goalkeeper. So it's not a pass for a push pass or a chest pass. Okay, thanks very much, girls. Um, start on time, finish on time is my motto. So thanks very much. Hope you got something from it. <laughs>